Hello, magandang buhay! Today, we will discuss about the gender-based violence or the lesson to which is the gender-based violence, power, use of force, and consent. First, let me introduce to you the reporters. E.R. Lucas and yours truly, Johanna Liverde, will discuss the lesson to gender-based violence, power, use of force, and consent. First, let me discuss what is gender-based violence. So, gender-based violence reflects power inequalities between women and men. Women and girls are more commonly the victims of GBV, a manifestation of power imbalance tilted in favor of men that characterize many mostly patriarchal cultures around the world. Collectively, shared norms about women subordinate roles in society and violence against them can also perpetuate the power imbalance. Gender-based violence refers to harmful acts directed at an individual based on their gender. It is rooted in gender inequality, the abuse of power, and harmful norms. Gender-based violence is also a serious violation of human rights and a life-threatening health and protection issues. Next, let's differentiate the differences between sex and gender. Sex is refers to psychological attributes that identify a person as male or female, have genital organs, type of predominant hormones, ability to produce cell, sperm or ovaries. It is also ability to give birth and breastfeed. While gender, it is refers to widely shared ideas and expectations or norms cons concerning men and women. It includes ideas about typically feminine for female and masculine for male, characteristics, abilities, and behavior. So why do we use the term gender-based violence? Because the term attempts to define the nature of the violence and suggests that in order to address violence, it is necessary to address issues of gender that causes and attributes or and contribute to the violence. According to the world, gender-based violence has a greater impact on women and children. Violence against women is manifestation of histor historically unequal power relations between men and women, which have led to domination over and discrimination against women by men and to prevention of the full advance of women. According to the UN Declaration on the Elimination of Violence Against Women in 1993, some statistics on gender unbalances. Women are the majority of the world's poor 70% of people living in poverty less than $1 per day are women. Women represent more than two-thirds of the world's illiterate. Women are most entirely excluded from power, political power. They hold 15.6% of elected parliament parliamentary seats globally. Women own only 1% of the world's lands, but it is important to note that men and boys may also be victims of gender race violence. Next, let's identify the types of GBV. First, the sexual. Sexual are the harassment or rape, sodomy, attempted rape, marital rape, sexual abuse, exploitation, child abuse, child sexual abuse, and exploitation, sexual abuse, or non-penetrating, forced prostitu prostitution, or willing but involuntary. Next is the physical. This is the exposed beating or domestic violence, assault, and other physical violence. Next is emotional, mental, or social. Verbal, emotional abuse, or meditation, discrimination, denial of opportunities, or services, supposed confinement. Next, the econo economic. Economic can be mentioned all of the above. And then the harmful traditional practices fit into the three main categories. FGM, or early forced marriage, honor killings, dowry abuse, widow ceremonies, punishments directed at women for crimes against culture, denial of education, and our food for girls, women due to gender role expectation. But in the harm harmful traditional practices, they are um, kind of familiar, which is in a one religion. Uh, they are having a forced marriage. Even you are on, um, you are not in legal age. But if your parents wanted you to be married, you're supposed to be married to that guy that you really don't know. Please welcome the re the next reporter, which discuss the sexual exploitation and abuse sexual exploitation. For the continuation, I am Iran Lucas and I'm going to tackle the sexual exploitation and abuse, sexual exploitation. 
is an any actual or attempt abuse of a position of vulnerability. Differential power or trust for sexual purposes, including but not limited to profiting monetarily, socially, or politically from sexual exploitation of another. Exchanging money, shelter, food, or any goods for sex or sexual favors from some in vulnerable position in sexual exploitation. Sexual abuse is an actual or threatened physical intrusion of a sexual nature, whether by force or under unequal or coercive condition. Threatening or forcing someone to have sex or provide sexual favors under unequal or first condition is sexual abuse. The root causes and contributing factors. The root causes of all forms of GBV lie in a society's attitude toward and practices of gender discrimination. Addressing the root causes through prevention activities requires sustained long-term action with change occurring slowly over long period of time. Abuse of power, gender inequality, lack of belief in equality of human rights for all contributing factors are factors that perpetuate GBV or increasing risk of GBV and influence the type and extent GBV in setting. Contributing factors do not cause GBV through they are associated with some act of GBV. Alcohol, drug abuse, lack of police protection, poverty, impunity, conflict, loss of male power or role in availability of food, fuel, wood, and family, and community. Income generations seeking to assert power, collapse of traditional society, and retaliation family support system. Tool or strategy of war. GBV, three verbal emotional FGM, abuse based verbal domestic on gender. Examples, emotional violence of GBV, abuse, rape, dowry, sexual, marital abuse, Abuse rate, types of GBV economic, HTP contributing poverty, sexual factors, lack of physical education, emotional or conflict, mental, examples of GBV in crisis, Burundi sexual violence survey, 1575 surveyed, 19% experience sexual violence, DRC, 5% of population was HIV positive before in, war in 1997. In 2002, it was 20% in east of DRC. Therefore, seeing an increase in domestic violence in camps. After Hurricane Mitch, 27% of female survivors and 21% of male survivors in Nicaragua told surveyors that women battering and increasing in wake of the hurricane in the family of community. After effects and outcomes of GBV, emotional, psychological, social, which all types of gender-based violence, they are serious and potentially life-threatening mental and psychosocial outcomes, emotional and psychological after effects, social consequences, post-traumatic stress, Blaming the victim depression, loss of role, function in society. Anxiety, fear, example, earn income or care for children. Anger, social, stigma, shame, insecurity, self-hate, self-blame, social rejection, and isolation, mental illness. Suicidal thought, behavior, mass society tend to blame the victim and the social Rejection results in further emotional damage, including shame, self-hate, and depression. Increase in rate during crisis, HIV or AIDS, and GBV, the link women and the girls face increased risk of 
acquiring STIs and HIV by directing transmission through rape, survival sex, sexual exploitation and abuse, increased levels of overlay violence including intimate partner violence which is turns make it difficult to negotiate safe sex in their relationship. Deliberation infection, increasing presence of military. Power. Power is the ability to influence your own or others' experiences. It is important for us to be aware of how we use the power we possess. The power we exert over others is a negative use of power. When men use power to control women, it is negative use of power and driving force behind violence against women. Our network seeks to transform negative uses of power into positive uses of power, which promote equality and solidarity. There are many varieties of positive power, such as fundamental power we discover within we learn to accept and love ourselves, the power we share with others when we support and respect each other, and power we support to take action and positively influence our lives and lives of other while negative power is the root of VAW positive power holds solutions in GBV prevention network we believe the clearest path of VAW prevention is built upon balancing the power between women and men some people are afraid that balancing power means men will lose power and women gain power Power is not limited quantity. If one person gains power, it doesn't have to be at another person's loss. We all have power within ourselves. We can join our powers with others and we have power to create positive change. Positive use of power by women and men means we all become stronger, safer, and more respected with other relationships. That's all, thank you.